Hey, what's up, you guys? Smarty Schwartz here. Going to bring you a classic tune. I remember, I'm going to date myself here. I was a senior in high school when the song came out. I remember it very well. Um, anyway, it's the same chord progression over and over. I'm going to give you a few different options on how to play it. I know there's different levels of players out there. I'm going to try and help all of you guys that want to learn this one. Also, I'd really appreciate your support by please subscribing to this channel of mine. I really appreciate it. And, you know, I'm here and I plan on teaching for the rest of my life. And uh, I'm really hoping it's right here. And uh, all the support you guys have given me, I really appreciate. So thank you for subscribing. Enough of that, though. Let's zoom in. We'll break this one down right now. Here we go. All right, so probably the most famous version of this is on electric guitar. But any of this stuff I'm teaching you right now can be the electric guitar version. No problem. So let's go through the chords. It's the same thing over and over, which we like. Starts with a G chord, which you could play this way. Three, two, open, open, three, three. Now you can also play a G bar chord, which would be barred on the third fret. And it looks like an E major shape. So five, five, four, barred on the three. Same chord. If you play the bar chord, then you can go up to the next chord without changing the shape, which is a B major, which would be barred on the seventh fret, and then an E major shape. So we have G major. up to the seventh fret. So f from B, it goes up a half step. So I'm barring the eighth fret now, and that would be a uh, C major. And then the final chord, which has that dark feeling and sound to it, middle finger comes off and it becomes C minor. Up to the seventh fret. And if I take my pinky off and I add it to the ninth fret of the G string and pull it off, that's a sus four. G sus four. up a half step to C major. Then I make it C minor. I'm a weirdo. So another way to play B major is barring the second fret and then rings hitting the fourth of the D, G, and B. And you can suss it by adding your pinky to the five of the B. And then you could also play a C major and you could play the full C major. Or if you mute that D string with your middle finger, you get what's called a C5 or a C power chord. So that's another option. And then you can play C minor with the root on the A string by barring the third fret and making this an A minor shape. So check that out. G to B. Now a C. minor.
there you have it. There it was. Thank you so much. Hope you got it down nice and tight. Um, also, thanks for subscribing to this channel. Plus, if there's a lesson you'd like to see me do, whether it's a song or a technique or anything like that, go ahead, like this video, leave a comment below, let me know, and I'll look at it, you know, and I'm going to be giving it right back. So thanks again, and uh, can't wait to see you in the next one. So we'll see you there.